dear students in this video we are going to start a new lesson so the name of the lesson is human body so first of all i would i would just read up the lines from your book and after that i will explain it to you okay so the human body is made up of millions of cells the cells are very small and can be seen only with the help of microscope so now what is a cell so cell is the smallest unit of life so all the human body is made up of cells and these cells are very small in size we cannot see them by our naked eyes so we need a microscope so this is a microscope so this microscope is an instrument which help us to see the smaller and the smaller object that cannot be seen by our naked eyes so i'll just read out the second line a group of cells doing a particular function is called a tissue so what is a tissue so when a group of cell you know cell they are the smallest unit so when they will combine together when they will combine together to perform a particular function then it is called a tissue and see see the next line there are many kinds of tissues the muscles of the arms skins bones and the blood are the examples of tissues so as we all know that the tissue is made up of a group of cells so tissue can be of many types they are the muscles arms skins bones bloods are the examples of tissues so now our next topic is organs so how does an organ is formed so a group of tissue that perform a particular function is called an organ so to be an organ so some group of tissue that might combine together they have to combine together to perform a particular function for example the heart the lungs the brain nose eyes and ears are organs so every organ has a different function for example the heart so do you know the function of the heart so the function of the heart is to pump the blood or it transport the blood to all the parts of our body in the same way the lungs help us to breathe whereas our brains work all the activities that going inside our body nose so what is the function of nose nose help us to smell and help us to breathe in the same way eyes help us to watch the things or you can say we can see with the help of our with the help of our eyes and ears are organs so you know ears we have a pair of ears that help us to hear the sound so next one is the organs of the body you know the human body is made up of different types of organs so these organs togetherly have to perform so that our body could properly work so the body of the the organs of the body can be divided into two parts that is internal parts and the external parts so in internal parts the organs that is present inside the body will come whereas in external parts the parts of the body that is present outside the body so how will you define the term internal organs internal organ means those organs that is present inside our body they are called internal organs whereas external organ means the organs that is present outside our body 
so now can you give some examples of internal organs try to remember so internal means inside our body that is you can say heart lungs stomach intestine etc in the same way external external organs they are eyes ears skins etc so look at this picture very carefully so this is our whole body okay this is the body of a human being so first of all what many cells many cells means when a group of cell that means many cell when they will combine together they will form a tissue and after that this tissue or you can say a group of tissue when they will combine together they will form a what organs or you can say after when the when a group of tissue or many tissue will combine together they will form an organs and these organs can be divided into two parts that is external organs that is present outside the body and the internal organs that is present inside our body so these are the examples of external organs and these are the examples of internal organs so in our next class we will discuss about the organ system of our body in detail so thank you everyone